Hi. We're doing a recap this week because we're 40 seconds short and the network is like, fill it, losers. My name is Riley. I'm 16 and I'm looking for my biological mother. Like, who isn't on TV? This is Opal. I think she's my mother's sister who's in a cult in Finland. Opal's a high school principal. Look at those skirts. Who dresses her, Allie? Oh, this is Mitch, the assistant principal. Opal's in love with him. So is he. What else happened? Oh, a heart attack? A little blackmail? Some underage stuff in a hotel bedroom? You know, the usual. Anyway, here's episode two. And pay attention, guys. I can't do this every week. people the whole two by two thing everyone's got to have a better half it's like the whole planet's Noah's Ark and you don't get aboard until you're hooked up frankly you give me the choice between swimming or spending like eight years on an ark with a billion animals one porthole and a steady diet of dried fruit I'll swim trouble is when you're 16 they don't let you so they hook you up with some loser none of the other animals will pick like opal even with just two of us this particular ark was feeling cramped Hey, Riley, what, what are you doing? I'm hanging beads for privacy. Oh. But, uh, gee, I, I thought we'd set up my sister Pearl's old room for you upstairs. Right, with Pearl's clothes and Pearl's records and Pearl's pictures. You know, I hate rooms. You eventually have to leave them anyway, so can this be my area? Ah, uh, it's well, you just could be staying here quite a while, you know, until they place you, you know, here in the living room where I live. What, are you afraid I'm going to cut into your TV viewing? No, my reading, actually. You don't read. You don't know everything about me. I happen to belong to three book of the month clubs. <laughs> okay, what was last month's selection? I don't have time for this. I have a meeting and you have a homeroom and we're late, so let's go. thing about the Ark. It's not about love. It's not about friendship. It's about not drowning. <laughs> not about you all night. I ran all the way to school. Say it. You're my favorite student. <laughs> no, say it. You're my favorite teacher. Ms. Farber? Okay, no, no. Are you sure this was Mary Beth? Mary, Mary Beth Farber? Like I'd miss her. Same woman who is in every holiday picture you've apparently ever taken. Except without the red eye. Can I play her? It's lie, first of all. And no, you have geometry, don't you? And I'd go if I weren't, like, totally emotionally traumatized. You told me about this alleged incident so you could get out of class. Yeah, and I also told you before it blew up in your alleged face. <sighs> you know, you're the new principal, and she's your best friend. <sighs> Mitch, uh, do you have a minute? And Riley, get off that couch and into class. No, we won't be late. We'll be late right now. Don't worry, I'll write you a note. Do you have any cigarettes? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not a student. I, I'm a teacher. Lisa Overbeck. This is my first week. I'm so excited. Mitchell, I mean, Mr. Levitt, vice principal, he is making my dreams come true. Yeah, Goss, it's sort of my dream, too. The kind where you wake up screaming. Oh, I gotta go. See you in class. <laughs> oh, Hello. Oopsie. Sorry. Oopsie. The new teacher. I guess we know how she got her job. 
If you look real close, you can see her inflate nozzle. I think you're getting your sexes confused. From what I hear down at County, Mitch saw her at a curriculum conference and hired her on the spot. You should read their emails. They're very flirty flirt. God, this school is nothing but sex, sex, sex. That's why Opal's here. Balance. How can you say that it's not a big deal? If the kid is over 18, I said, then he's a grown man. It's legal in California. OK, well, what is it? That's not the point. The point is that Mary Beth is abusing her authority. It's probably what turns them on. <gasps> Could you just be a little more professional, please? I have to look this up. <sighs> sex with a co-worker, sex with a subordinate, sex with a student. You know what I think? What? I think you're scared you can't do your job. Like in college, when you started that big campaign to ban keg parties, and everyone just banned you instead. You get all prickly and pursy. Listen, first of all, um, I was right then, and I'm right now, and I don't even know what pursy means. You know, it's a lip thing you do. You're doing it right now. Wow, how do you get any air in there? Okay, you know what? You're right. I am scared. This is my first week on a new job, and I could be faced with a sexual harassment situation thing. This could be, like, a criminal matter. Gee, if I wasn't so bummed about not getting your job, I could help you out on this. Look, I got through that, and you'll get through this. We always do. You're right. Of course I'm right. Besides, this could all just be a big misunderstanding. Talk to Mary Beth. Oh, without the lip thing. Ugh, life on the Ark. Everyone's huddled together group uh, by group. Hello? This must be the reptile deck. Ever wonder why all the friends on Friends look alike? You know, white people with nice clothes and cute picture frames around the peoples on their front doors? Because anyone different from us scares us. High school's where we learn that. We cast our own little TV shows with people just like us. Geeks. And freaks. And Dawson's creeps. It was an easy choice to make. Eat with them or keep my food down. travel in a pack. Good. Of course, neither did the Unabomber. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Yeah, it wasn't your imagination. We were inviting you to sit with us. Well, it wasn't your imagination. I passed. You're new here, so you wouldn't know. But see, we're like, you know, in to be 70s about it, and we're letting you sit with us. Well, uh, to be Y2K about it? Bite me. It, excuse me? Beat it, all right? Not interested. Hey, nobody turns us down. Especially foster trash like you. Yeah, we all know about your tacky little life back in Akron and about how you tried to fool Miss Brown into thinking she's your aunt. Yeah, uh, did you ever rent, Carrie? I mean, aren't you just a teensy bit worried you're gonna get a face full of pig's blood? <laughs> in fact, everybody also knows that the only reason why she's keeping you is because no other family would take you in. And when you do need a referral, you're going to wish you'd been a little bit nicer to us because it's going to mean the difference between a good home with a below-ground pool or a trailer on wheels. out of your mind. He's a boy. He's 18. Well, that doesn't make it appropriate. This is such a betrayal on so many levels as his teacher. I fell in love. You wouldn't understand. I know what it's like to fall in love. I just stick to grown men. All right. Have you gone all the way? I have to ask as the principal. It aches. Sorry? Not doing it makes me ache. What? N not. That's good. Richard likes having power over me. So we're going very, very slow. Our lips barely brush. Really? Opal and Mary Beth got into this huge fight. Too much beautiful aching, if you ask me. 
end it or I'm gonna have to fire you. You hypocrite. You slept with Mitch at the Shh. secondary school conference. Okay, that was different. And keep your voice down. Oh, don't you want people to know? Look, how long did I keep your secret, Opal? How oh, long? Oh, Meredith, please. Mitch and I are adults. I'm not sleeping with a student. Neither am I. Well, not yet. <laughs> oh, your perfect Mitch married one of his students. Oh, that was fine by you. You even hired no, him. No, she was a former student. Oh, but it's all rules. Rules, regulations, and policy books. Well, love doesn't always follow the rules. I know. Sometimes it makes its own, and if you're smart, you let it. That's why I'm in love with somebody who loves me back. Right, Beth, and please. you're alone. You have been ever since I've known you. My only living relative, maybe, and even her best friend hates her. Guess who's been elected next best thing? I knew things were bad last night when Opal used me as a sounding board. We didn't even make it to Law and Order before she told me the whole story. Sex and betrayal, betrayal and sex. People should be more like TV sets, you know, with mute buttons. This pen is out. What did you do with all my good pens? Here's a highlighter. Letter of termination. It's blank. I can't find the words. Mary Beth is my friend. She's doing something just so wrong, you know, just so just wrong. And but now I have to do something that will end our friendship. Are you kidding? You're doing her a favor. Her boyfriend won't even sleep with her. Richard is just mature for his age. More like retired. Look, I still say she's no friend. No? How many times has the phone rung since you've been here? Not that many, right? But Almost every time, it's Mary Beth. She's the last person I talk to every night. Until you moved in. <laughs> my parents are dead, and my sister's been gone for years. Everybody I knew growing up has moved away from here. I just know myself. I'm not a people person. I'm not the friend type. And dogs shed. So believe me, Mary Beth was a friend. Well, can't you just pretend I never told you? I've been trying that all morning. Wish it worked. I was almost sorry I told Opal about the affair. Not that I cared about her losing her best friend. I just didn't want to become her next one. Hey, AJ, you work here. You must know this stall matter guy. He's a nice kid, Richard. Yeah, let me ask you something. Would you turn down sex with a willing woman? Riley, I'm flattered, but you're a student. I'm... N no, not me. This, this Richard. Did he ever date actual high school girls, like someone his age? Oh, yeah. Richard had a real serious girlfriend at homecoming. He shouldn't drink, though. It gets him all confused. Like how? Well, I was chaperoning the student dance, and he made a pass at me. Weird, huh? Yes and no. But then he explained that he had had too much to drink, and he thought I was his girlfriend. I was like, whoa. Yeah, like, who would believe that? No. Like, whoa, your girlfriend must be really tall. And, like, really into French kissing. I got Richard's locker combination from AJ. I told him Richard was my secret Santa, and I wanted to get started early. Like, ten months early. Gay. So gay. Designer underwear and highlights in his hair, gay. When Mary Beth finds out, Opal's gonna get her best friend back. Richard stole that around. She speaks. So do you know where he is? I usually don't notice people. He speaks, but he doesn't have much information. You know how on TV, when somebody's looking for someone, they're always in the third place they look? We don't have time for that. I found Richard right away. He was with a friend. I'm not allowed to show you how friendly. How could you? Basically, it looked like a photo I once saw in my foster brother's wilderness guide where one camper's treating the other for snake bite. Except here, it looked like the snake bit right below the belt. This is so not what Noah had in mind. It's not me. Whoa, whoa. 
relax. I don't have a problem with gays. I watch Frasier all the time. I'm not gay. He is. And it's totally phase anyway. You're not listening. I don't have a problem with it. You mean you won't tell anyone? No. You will. What? There's a girl slash teacher in your life who deserves to know she's barking up the wrong tree. Hi, Miss Brown. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, I realize I'm the new teacher here, but I want you to know that I'm sick about what's going on. Going on? Between Miss Farber and the flute player. Oh, don't worry. I promised Mitchell I wouldn't be the word. Mitchell? Uh, you mean Mr. Levitt told you? In my opinion, Mary Beth's put you in a terrible situation. And if you want to role play any of this before your presentation to the board, I'm here for you 100%. Do you happen to know where Mr. Levitt is right now? You know, I don't think he'd be very good at role playing. <laughs> Try his office. Great. I'm serious. Uh... <laughs> I come to you for advice on the first major challenge of my administration, and you confide in Lisa. Administration? What are you, Liddy Dole? Some guy is bonking a teacher. Relax. No, hey, how can you minimize something so profoundly wrong? Tell me something. Is it the, um, is it the stick up your butt that interferes with your vision? Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> you have a great laugh. Lisa's closer to the student's age. I thought she could give us perspective. You said that before about my laugh, that very same thing in Palm Springs. Did you tell Lisa about that, too? No. Good, because I would like to think that what happens between us stays, you know, between us. Nobody knows, believe me. Sometimes I forget it happened. Oh, thanks. Hey, whoa, could you be any less romantic? That's not what I meant. I, I just, you, we, we, you know... When I took this job two years ago, we agreed we'd keep it strictly friends. No going back to college. Didn't you say that? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was the stick talking. All right, whatever. You said it. And, and then we slipped in Palm Springs. Oh, now it's a slip. OK, thanks. You're the one who's always saying people need to make their rules and live by them. That's what makes us different than animals. Don't, don't you say that? No, no. You know what makes us different from the animals, Mitch? We talk. Sometimes not enough. And sometimes way too much. Anyone could tell what she's thinking. No Mary Beth, no Mitch. At least I still have... Riley, Mary Beth's in your office. <laughs> oh, you're gonna need this. I keep asking myself how oh, I could have missed it. He fooled a lot of people, Mary Beth. He fooled me. But I should have known. I saw his Princess Di Memorial plates. <laughs> Thanks, bubble bath. He likes Chanel. <laughs> we see what we want to see, what we need. It isn't easy for people like us. We have so much to give. There's such a small pool of takers who are really worthy. You make us horny. That too. <laughs> You got Richard to come out to Mary Beth, didn't you? Buy me a carton of cigarettes, we'll be even. This is not a thank you. I mean, yes, you sort of diffused the situation, and, and now Mary Beth is going to counseling. And you managed to keep a friend and not blow the first week in a new job. But it's the way you did it. Like my sister Pearl. Just tricking people and manipulating them. Yeah, well, I guess it works. She crashed and burned and ended up in a cult in Finland. And all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Oh yeah, I just remembered I didn't even get that. You know what? I'm gonna walk home. Hello? Hi. 
Beth, I was just thinking about you. Oh, oh, oh uh, it's fine. Remember what I said about Noah's Ark? Maybe it's not Mitch, the Ark mate she wanted, but she'll settle for Mary Beth. Anything to get out of the water. Uh, me too. Listen, let me, let me call you right back. I got somebody here. And she keeps me around in case that falls through. Like I told you, it's not about affection. It's about not drowning. If you could find anything better. A disgruntled client terrorizes a top woman attorney and threatens to kill her kidnapped daughter in the thriller Dead Innocent on the CTV movie Sunday at 9. Right now, a jewel thief is suspected of murder on Diagnosis Murder next.